Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is a returning to booktube book haul. Because who doesn't love a book haul? I've acquired quite a few books since I have uh, been filming for booktube, so I thought I would share and kind of catch you all up with what I've gotten. I've read a fair amount of these, so that's also really nice. Um, I'm thinking about doing a couple of recent reads videos just so I can go over what I've been reading because I've been reading quite a bit these past couple of months, um, but I'm still kind of planning that out and Donatella likes to be on my lap. Hey, sweet girl. So, first off, we're gonna start with a book that I'm sure everyone owns by now, uh, Fourth Wing. I read this on audio before it came out, and then I had to order a copy, and yeah, it's amazing. I have pre-ordered the next book, so that will be coming in November. Then I also got the final author by Lauren Asher. It is the third and final uh, romance book in the trilogy of the billionaires trilogy dreamland billionaires there we go um i read the first two this is the only one i haven't read so i'm happy to finally complete the trilogy both in ownership and also soon to read this so each one of these has like a different um trope that it focuses on and i really liked the first one the second one wasn't my favorite so we'll see what the third one was another book that i pre-ordered and got that i read as soon as i got it because i was just so excited for it is assistant to the villain by hannah nicole mayer i was so excited for this i've been following her on tiktok pretty much since the beginning when she started posting these so just watching her whole journey about this is amazing if you don't know you should definitely check her out on tiktok she does assistant to the villain skits and it is hilarious and has all my favorite tropes of like loving and falling in love with the villain and the bad guy. So yeah, I definitely highly recommend this just whimsical, beautiful piece of literature. Then I got quite a few graphic novels. Um, there were a bunch of graphic novels that I had been meaning to read, mostly actually in the springtime, but I just had a, a like, I hadn't been physically reading a lot and graphic novels are the perfect way to jump me back into physically reading. So I got The Moth Keeper by Kay O'Neill. Yeah, this is a really good one. It's not incredibly seasonal, so I think you can read it whenever. Uh, I also got The Sprite and the Gardener by Rhea Abrego and Joel Witt. Um, so this was a beautiful, very short graphic novel that I got and read. And then I got Basil and Oregano, and this is by Melissa Cabrigloni. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm not Italian. I'm so sorry. I don't know. Um, but this was just such a cozy graphic novel. So uh, pretty much as soon as I heard that this came out and what it was when it came out of like these two girls going to a magical cooking school, I knew I had to read it. I knew I had to get it and I loved it. And then the final one is one is a graphic novel that I really wanted to get for spooky season. I've had my eye on this for forever. So I finally got it. That is Mooncakes uh, by Wendy Sue, Suzanne Walker, and Jomet Gill. It's a witch and a werewolf. And it's a queer romance with spooky mystery elements. So, I mean, that's perfect. It's perfect for right now in October. And, oh, and there are, yes, themes of baking and cooking, and I just absolutely loved it. So I'm really glad that I got all of those. On with another new release that I got and was super excited about is Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin. I have all of Rachel Griffin's books, at least in this universe. Um, so I was really excited to pre-order and then receive her newest one. Yes, I've already read it. These are wonderful witchy books to read at any time of year, but... If you're like a witchy seasonal, this is something you should pick up. Okay, this is not a recommendations video, this is a haul. But, yeah, so this is another one I got during my couple months off. It's gonna be the death of me. You just keep interfering, huh? I know, you just want to be a part of it all. Anyway, 
so the next couple are books that are third books in series that have been out for a while and that I've read the series and I really wanted them but I'd been getting them in paperback not hardcover so I'd been waiting for the paperback to be released and it was finally released so I can finally complete the trilogy for both of these and that would be The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Like I said I finished this trilogy this finally came out in paperback so now they can all be the same and that makes me very happy and the Brothers Hawthorne just came out also fairly recently so I'm excited to read that. So sorry the amount of times the camera angle has changed in this video because this cat just wants to walk in circles. The other finally it came out in paperback that I really wanted is The Golden Enclaves by Naomi Novik. Again so this is like your much darker version of like Harry Potter where all these kids uh, from different magical communities go to uh, this magical school and they have to do very intensive magic and do it for survival. And so this is the third book of the Skullamance trilogy. Again, I read it, I had just been waiting for it to come out in paperback, it's out, so now I finally have all three books in the trilogy in the same format. And I'm just so excited to have these things completed on my shelf. It's gonna look so nice, you know, when we move into our house and get shelves. It's gonna look so nice. Now onto the final stack. I did mention these in my return to booktube life update. Well, I mentioned two of these. There's one that's not here. The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Oseman. I have that packed away for my weekend trip that I am going to take. So I got the Thursday Murder Club as well. But Murder in the Family by Kara Hunter, I got this one and I'm doing a buddy read of it. As you can see, I've already started it. Um, it is a murder mystery where a TV crew is opening up a cold case and they are filming episodes while actively trying to solve the case. And you are kind of your own component in this book where you are trying to um, figure it out along with them. Like you are reading the interviews as they conduct them and so you are putting your own things together and having your own theories which is really fun. And then I also got Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I'm finally going to start reading Riley Sager books. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I wanted to just sit down and like read all of them but I thought you know at least I should get them. <laughs> so I have this one. And then the final book in this haul is another spooky book and I have read it. In fact I bought it because I read it and I really liked it. But the audiobook kept jumping. I don't know why. It was downloaded properly. So I I wanted to physically get it because I'd been skipping pretty significant sections in the audiobook. Um, so I would recommend just reading it physically just in case. I got it through the library. So I don't know if that's all the audio copies or just the one I had or what. But that is The Court of Undying Seasons or Court of the Undying Seasons by A.M. Strickland. This is a vampire book and I was super excited for it to be one of the first spooky books I read this season. Um, basically, vampires come around and choose people and it's, it's very much like Fae Court except they're vampires. So yeah, our main character gets chosen and she is not thrilled about it. Normally they're very thrilled about it because you know you get to live forever, you become beautiful, you get all these abilities, blah blah blah, but she's like no I hate vampires, they're the worst. Crap, now I have to become one but try to avoid becoming one because she doesn't like them. So I got this one and I really enjoyed it. Those are all the books that I got recently in these past couple of months. I am really excited for these next couple months in the year of all the books coming out and that have recently come out. There are so many good books to read and I cannot believe this year is already coming to a close. It's already October. That is so crazy. Yeah. So those are all the books. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what books you've been getting recently. Otherwise, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I am starting to film videos again and I've been really inspired to do so. So hopefully those will be coming up as soon as I can get them up, but make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified so you don't miss any of them. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.